Hey everyone, welcome back to It Kind of Works. Now, today I got this cool little board to talk to you guys about, but before we get into this board, I need to give a little bit of backstory. So, whenever I'm making projects that involve motion or motion detection, there's two kind of sensors I go to. Either I need to detect distance and range, in which case I normally go for an ultrasonic range finder, or I need to detect just the presence of motion. When I need to detect the presence of motion, I usually go for a PIR, passive infrared motion sensor. And one of the biggest problems that I have with those sensors is they just are not reliable, at least the cheap ones. And you know, here it, it kind of works, cheap is king. So. I started looking online to see what I could find to, you know, either find better PIR motion sensors that are cheap or some sort of an alternative. This is the alternative. This is a radar based motion sensor. And specifically, it is an RCWL0516. And there are a couple of differences between PIR motion sensors and radar sensors. The most obvious being that passive infrared uses the natural infrared light in the environment to detect motion, i.e. your hand, you know, emitting infrared light and so on. Radar based sensors actually emit, you can see that there's a little antenna here on this end, this little squiggly part, and it emits signals and then waits for a reflected signal back. It can actually detect through surfaces. So a PIR motion sensor has to have line of sight. You know, if there's, if the sensor's here and there's someone moving here, there cannot be a wall in between or some piece of wood or something because that would obstruct the natural radiation from the person walking. These sensors can actually detect through walls, through different materials. And I believe technically this should have a, a seven-ish meter range. Now, in theory, that can also be attenuated and you can, you know, get a smaller range. But the point is that you can detect through surfaces, which I thought would be really cool because my main application for this here is to replace a motion sensed light that sits under my cabinets so that when I'm making food and preparing food, I have motion activated lights. So there's the backstory. Now, I ordered these sensors. I was just looking to see what alternatives there were, and I just ordered these on the spot, as I do. Didn't do a whole lot of research. And as you can see from the amount of electronics tacked onto it, well, things haven't been going very well. So let's start off with what is the problem? Well, it's basically the same problem as PIR sensors. Not reliable. Now. Technically, I'm using this with an ESP module and I might be able to get better results if I don't use something that has a radio on it. But for my purposes, I would really like to be able to have a wireless uh, a motion sensor for my house along with motion sensors, you know, for under my cabinet and stuff. So I'd really like to solve this with an ESP if possible. The problem is, is that these are very, very sensitive. And honestly, if you guys take a look at the graph that's on screen right now, you can see in none of these spikes are there any motion. So that's just random, like super sensitive something or other. So here's what I've done to try to mitigate that. I've added noise suppression and, and a capacitor on the ESP itself. So that's just to try to keep the ESP nice and stable. I've added a nice big thousand microfarad capacitor on the sensor directly. I also happen to have a 220 microfarad from a previous attempt. I have a 100 nanofarad capacitor also to try to suppress the noise. And I'm not exactly sure the operation of this, but there's also a 10 ohm resistor in series with the incoming five volts to the sensor. 
So these are all things that I've read on various sources about this sensor specifically, uh, how to try to mitigate some of this jitteriness in its output. Unfortunately, none of that has worked. Uh, the last thing that I just tried a little while ago is I added a potentiometer here onto R9. There's a little tiny surface mount resistor, which is normally a 220 microfarad or a 220 ohm resistor. I have replaced that with a 500 ohm trim pot and I've been trying to trim it and in theory that should adjust the sensitivity or at least adjust sort of the range at which it's sensitive. That hasn't really worked either. So here I am stuck with, I got a bunch of these, I got five of them in total. Uh, and I really don't have any way to use them yet. So here's what I have to ask you guys. I know that there are other radar based motion sensors out there. I know that we have passive infrared motion sensors. What I want to know from you guys is a, have you guys been able to make these kind of sensors work before specifically the RCWL0516 sensor. Uh, and what has been your experience if you have or haven't gotten them to work? And if you have any suggestions for other very low cost, I'm looking for a couple dollars at most. I think these were about a buck fifty per unit, uh, and PIR sensors are in a similar range. I'm looking for a really, really low cost uh, sensor that I can use as just a general purpose motion sensor. So guys, leave your answers down below if you have any feedback for me. Uh, if you like this video, definitely go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of stuff in general, definitely think about subscribing to the channel. And if you just wanna help us out today, go to patreon.com slash itkindaworks. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.